marks, but I mean, like, not, not make-out marks, but the kind of perfect kiss marks, <laughs> two on his cheek here, two here, a couple on the forehead. And he walks right into his office, and his assistant grabs a box of Kleenex and runs in after him. <laughs> and then she comes out about five minutes later, and she's got the Kleenex. It's all red. <laughs> <laughs> and she says, okay, you, you, you've, got, you've got five minutes, probably one minute right. wow. with him. That's right. it. And I walked into the office, and he was sitting by his desk with his feet up on the desk. And he sat me down, and he just... Uh, said, so they tell me you want to be a picture maker, is what he called it. Wow. I, I never heard that before, but I never forgot it. Yeah. And I said, yeah, I, I really do. I've made all these little eight millimeter movies. And, and he said, what do you know? He said, what do you know about art? And I, 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 I was stammering. I wasn't expecting that question. He said, you see those paintings around the office? I said, yeah. He said, well, get up and walk over to the first painting. He said, tell me what you see in that oh, painting. Cool. And I said, well, I see two Indians on horses. He said, no, 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 no. Where's the horizon? Oh, wow. Wow. So I said, well, the horizon's, you know, you know, way above the, the head of the Indians. He said, fine, walk on to the next one. He said, what do you see in that painting? And stupidly, I said, well, there's some cavalry on horses. <laughs> I hadn't heard anything, you know. And he said, no, no, no. Where's the horizon? And I said, well, the horizon is the very, very bottom of the painting. He said, okay, get over here. I stood in front of his desk. He said, when you're able to distinguish the art of the horizon at the bottom of a frame or at the top of the frame, but not going right through the center of the frame, when you're able to appreciate why it's at the top and why it's at the bottom, you might make a pretty good picture maker. Now get the f out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and uh, let's go back to that. Yeah. Oh dear, I've got Can you do this thing? Go back for me. You've told the story of your life. Is anyone in your career who you've worked with whose story you'd like to tell next? Maybe even John Williams' story? Well, we're actually making a documentary on John Williams' life. So that's going to be in the documentary form. But um, no, you know, I, I'm very eclectic. When you look back at all my films, they're all quite, except for the sequels, they're all pretty different, one from the next. And that really keeps me interested. I couldn't make the same kind of movie stylistically over and over again. If I had to do that, I'd go into. You've told the story of your life. Is anyone. It's been said. That John Ford. There's this fantastic scene at the end of Fablemans, not a spoiler, um, where Sammy, Sam, gets to meet John Ford, yes. one of the greatest directors of all time. And he gives Sam essentially three bits of advice. It's all one bit of advice, but it's, it's got three parts to it. Okay. And the last bit of advice is get the f out of my office. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> um, what inspired you to cast David Lynch in that part? Perfect casting. I had an okay. actor in mind, I won't mention who it is, he's a friend.